In this video, I show you how to set up smart crates in Serato DJ Pro and give you a couple of my personal tips. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So in Serato DJ Pro, there are actually two ways to organize your music into playlists within Serato DJ Pro. Now instead of calling them playlists, Serato calls them crates, and there's two kinds of crates. So there's these orange crates right here, the original crates, that have been inside of Serato since the very beginning, where you know this is just like your normal playlist you would make in something like iTunes or any other DJ software where you would just go ahead create one just like this I just created this one at the bottom grab a whole bunch of songs like this and then I could just click and drag them into that crate and now these songs are all here and I can just go ahead and reference these uh, whenever I need so this is the normal way most DJs you know organize their music while while picking the songs they want, putting them into crates, and just having a bunch of crates that kind of fit whatever mood or whatever kind of um, playlist that they would need at a certain time. But Serato also implemented this blue button right here, which are smart crates, which are way more powerful in my opinion. And I really DJ mostly out of smart crates. Now, what you would do is instead of just go ahead and clicking here and a crate appearing just like this, when we click add smart crate, this pop-up pops up and it says right here at the top smart crate rules. So the difference with the smart crate is that instead of having to pick and choose certain songs out of your, you know, entire library, smart crates will actually go ahead and fill in the crate with songs um, based on a set of rules that you go ahead and predetermine. So let's go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So we can go ahead and add rule and here we have the first column on your left. These are all the different columns you can kind of build rules around. So for instance, let's do um, something easy. Let's do genre, contains, and then type in, let's say hip hop. Now I can hit save and notice it's working right now. And now these are all the songs in my playlist or in my um, Serato library that contain that phrase hip dash hop. Now this is kind of short and I think I know why. So what I can do is I can go ahead and come back and now notice that there's this edit button here so I can go ahead and edit these rules. I think most of my hip hop is actually hip space hop. And it's gonna start working again. And now you can see there's a ton of songs. So now I can go ahead and look at this crate and know it's just my hip hop. So you can actually, instead of just one rule, we can go ahead and make multiple rules. So for instance, if you've seen any of my tagging videos, you know that I actually use special keywords to kind of organize my music in a certain way. So I leave those in the comment section. So I can do comment contains, let's do down south hip hop. So that's the ATL tag. So if I hit save, it's working again. Now this is just all the, you know, down south hip hop. So it's missing all the west coast stuff, all the east coast stuff, and it works pretty well. Now what's great about these crates is that this right here at the bottom, live update, no matter when I add a new song to my actual Serato library, I can go, it'll go ahead and automatically fill in all those songs for me. So if there's a song that I add that fits these rules that, you know, the comment contains this tag and the genre is this, it'll go ahead and fill those songs in without me having to click and drag it into the crate, which is super powerful in my opinion. And that's why I love Smart Crate so much is that I don't have to worry about making sure that the songs are in the crates and I move them myself. If you set up the right systems, it'll go ahead and do it for you. So let me show you a couple of tips on some smart crates that you might want to build. For instance, one smart crate that I like to have is something that's for an opening set. So for um, my general rule for an opening set is that I want to play, um, you know, some higher energy party kind of music. Um, that's a generic term, but I mean, just like, you know, kind of sing along known songs. And for those songs, I use the tag party. And then I want to make sure that I'm not playing new music so 
I'm gonna go ahead and go down to year and I can do year is before, let's say a couple years back, so um, 2016. So this is gonna be everything 2015 and before, right? And we can check that by showing the year tag and the oldest year is 1960, but the newest year is 2015. So if you think about it that way, now whenever I need to, you know, let's name this openers. So now if I need to you know, grab some songs that I know will work, you know, some awesome sing-along songs, or songs that people know, and I, want, I don't have to worry about, oh, is this a new song? Am I gonna burn a headliner by playing it? I don't have to worry about that anymore because whenever I add a song to my Serato library, as long as the year is before 2016 and I've tagged it as like a song I'd play at a party, then it'll automatically end up in this opener's playlist, which is, one other one that I kind of like using sometimes is uh, just having some BPM ranged ones. So let's do BPM is greater than or equal to greater than 40. And then at the same time, BPM is greater, less than or equal to, let's say 65. So now what this crate does is it'll automatically just give me all of the songs within that BPM range from 40 to 65. And then I could even, let's take it a step further and let's add that party tag that we used before. And again, I have a video on how I set up this whole tagging system. So definitely check that out on my channel if you haven't already. And now these are all just those party songs that are in this BPM range. Now what I would do is I would set up a couple of these. So let's say I have this one set up and I want to do another one that's kind of close. So let's do another one. So let's do BPM range is greater than or equal to 66. And let's go maybe all the way to 80 this time. So less than 80 and keep that party tag. Now I have these two that are in this BPM range. So I know that all of these songs that are kind of like uh, party songs, I can pretty much mix all of these together without having to go, you know, internal mode and switching the pitch. I can probably get to all of these within plus or minus eight or plus or minus 10 on the pitch. And same thing for these as well. So I just know if I'm, I'm in this BPM range and I don't know what to play, I can go ahead and just hop to this playlist and pick something right away. So you can think about having all of these. So was, this was 40 to 65. Let's name these and then this is 66 to 80. Now what's cool about this is you can combine regular crates and smart crates. So I can go ahead and create a crate and let's do BPMs. I can go ahead and drag these into here. And now all of my smart playlists are kind of tucked away here and I can tell, okay, oh, these are all by BPM. And I can go ahead and just click on these and get to the actual smart playlist that I'm looking for. And that's a nice feature of Serato DJ Pro. They didn't have this when they introduced smart crates, but they have it now. So if you have a bunch of smart crates and you know, previously you just had to have them all listed out like this, you can now kind of hide them and make them sub crates by creating a regular crate and then just dragging them in like I showed you right here. So for instance, I could take this openers, drag that in there. If I wanted it out, just same thing, just drag it out of there and you're good to go. So that's a look at smart crates within Serato DJ Pro and a couple of my personal tips on some smart crates that you might want to set up. So that's a look at how to set up smart crates in Serato DJ. So question of the day, how are you going to set up your smart crates? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I love what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.